Hello everyone, Jamie here. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install Twerp Recovery and Majisk onto the Blackview A60. First things first, um, try and do a backup of everything on your phone and secondly if you have an update do the update now because I made the mistake of going through this whole process and pressing update and then I bricked it but I brought it back to life and I will do a video on this if you have accidentally bricked it. Um, it's you can bring it back to life so don't worry uh, so first things first right so we've got the uh, the update first so just make sure that you do that Let's install it now okay I won't make you watch that and uh, we'll go on to the next step okay once your phone has been updated um, what we need to do is we need to unlock the bootloader and that's nice and easy all we need to do is go to your settings Oh look, it says that it's been um, updated to the latest version, so that's good. Um, anyway, so we're going to unlock the bootloader, so we need to go down to where it says System. Uh, we need to go to About. And we need to go all the way down to where it says Build Number. So just keep tapping that. And then it says you are a developer, so we're going to go back on Pay. And there we go, uh, Developer Options has uh, popped up. So. Uh, we need to go down, I've already uh, clicked unlock, uh, OEM unlock, you need to tick that um, and then go down to where it says USB debugging, so I'm going to select that. We're going to allow that. So next what we need to do is put the phone into fast boot mode so that we can unlock the bootloader. So to do this you need to hold down the power button until restart comes up. And then when the writing comes up, we're going to hold the volume up button for about 15 seconds and just keep holding it down until we see the menu that we need. So I'm pressing restart. We'd like to restart. Yes. Okay, the writing's going to come up back now. So hold down the volume up and we're going to do that for about 15 seconds. So keep holding it down and then the phone will vibrate. We do not let go until you see the menu. There we go, uh, and this little menu's come up. Now, to go on the one that you want to, so for us, we need to go on fast, but you need to press volume up. See, so you press volume up. But when you press volume down, it will enter whatever mode you're trying to get into. So I can see that's on fast boot, so I'm gonna go down to volume down, I'm gonna press that, and there we go. It's in fast boot mode. So I'm gonna show you on the computer now what to do next. So next, you should download the um, file in the description. I've put all these files together. It took me ages, but it was to make it easier for you guys as well. Uh, so you need to install minimal ADB fastboot. So I'm going to show you where I save mine. So if I go to the C drive and go to uh, program files 86, if we go all the way down to where it says minimal ADB and fastboot, I'm just going to copy and paste that. Let's see where my, my document is, so it's on my desktop, so I'm just going to go into there. Uh, I've already got on here, but I'm going to right click and go to paste shortcut. And I've got two copies now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we just need to go into there. Uh, next we're going to press shift on the keyboard and right click on an empty space. Now, the wording might be slightly different than yours, but you've just got to open up the PowerShell, um, or it might be slightly different on yours. Um, you just need to go on there. And next, we're going to open up my Word document. It's going to be a bit neater when I when I do the final draft of it, but for now, <laughs> it's just my notes. So we need to type in fastboot OEM unlock go. So I'm just going to copy that and go back to my PowerShell. Okay, and paste it in there so you might need to just right click and go and paste and then we're going to enter and I will show you on the phone what that looks like when I press that. See it says to unlock the bootloader and you need to press up to do that but I will warn you uh, your phone will go back to factory reset as soon as you press up and so that means you need to go and get your Wi-Fi password and your Google <laughs> your Gmail password as well so let's do it we're going to press up. There we go. Um, and to get out of this, we just need to unplug 
and what I'm going to do is press um, volume down and power. Let's take a few seconds. There we go. So now we just need to wait for the setup screen to come up now. See you in a minute. So I've just set up the phone again and we just need to go back to the settings. We just need to do that same thing again that we did before. Go down to system, go to about, go to build number, do, 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 become a developer, go back. And now yours should look like OEM unlocking. Um, so that's good and we want USB debugging. Splendid. Right, and again, we need to go back to um, fast boot. So, so we're going to press the power button, restart, and again, hold down the volume up button. Okay, and remember when we get to this screen, press volume up until you get the fast boot option and press uh, volume down. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to get our twerp recovery file. So, we're going to go on there, we're going to get recovery, we're going to Copy that and go down to the minimal ADB and fast boot, and we're going to just right click and put that in there. Oh, I've already got in here, so it doesn't really matter, but make sure you put yours in there. Uh, and then we're going to press the shift key again, and we're going to do the right click and go down to open. Okay, so what we need to do is we're going to type in fast boot devices and press enter. Uh, next, we need to go on to fast boot flash recovery. There we go, and we're just gonna paste that in there, and we're gonna go to enter. There we go, so that's uh, it's done that. So if we switch camera to my my phone, so all you need to do is press our favorite combination, volume down and the power button. And hold it down and then we're going to press up so that it boots up it should give us that option again there we go so you press the volume up button until you get to recovery and press volume down again and then we should get twerp recovery any second right so you may notice this is all in russian but don't worry we can change it so we're going to slide that across okay and we're going to go to that one there things in the way language one at the top there and we're going to go down to where it says English. So now that we know that's working, we now need to install Majisk. So we're just going to restart the phone one more time. And we're just going to go to restart system. And click do not install. So next we need to install Majisk and also get the uh, zip file for Majisk as well. Because we need to flash that. Um, so you can go onto the uh, zip file that I uh, provided for you in the description or I'm going to put some links so you can download it to your phone if you want to go onto the website links. Uh, so basically we just need to go to the, the files, we need to go to download and first bit is installing the APK so we're just going to do that. Easy peasy and next uh, we need to go back to recovery. Okay so next we're going to go to install, we're going to go to download and we're going to install the Majisk zip. And then we're going to go on to reboot and we do not want to install so this is the end of the video you're all done now uh, as you can see we've got Majisk installed on the phone so you just quickly click on there and make sure that um, you've got the latest version it will soon tell you to download one if it's not okay and uh, that's it but however if you want to speed up the phone because it only has one gigabyte of ram um, i will provide a link to the um, an app called CPU Master that will just overclock the CPU. So we're just going to click on it. So it's coming up with CPU user requests. So I'm going to click on Grant. Brilliant, and that's gone through absolutely fine. So we can update the um, the minimum there. So we can make this run like an absolute beast. Uh, scaling, I am going to put. Let's see, on demand and set on reboot and then I'm click on apply and that should keep it nice and snappy. Another thing we can do is go to 
the settings, go down to system, go to developer options again, scroll down, keep scrolling until you get to window animation scale and I'm going to select that to off on each of these, so transition, animator, duration scale, I'm just going to turn them all off and there we go look how snappy that is <laughs> that runs so much better so that is the end of the video i hope this really helps if you've somehow kind of bricked your phone i will put uh again i keep saying this a link in the description on how to fix that don't worry you haven't broken it it's just a few things you've got to do okay well uh that's the end of the video i hope this helped you if you liked it give it a thumbs up and if you hated it subscribe see you later